This is Robin, and uh, you know, she's awesome. She drove the boat here for about an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. From, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I just have one question. This is the one one question interview. Uh, do you know who the Buddha is? Who the Buddha is? The Buddha, Buddha. Buddha. is that fat statue. <laughs> Being a Buddha is actually, well, the meaning is someone who's awakened. And there is a fellow called Siddhartha Gautam Buddha, who lived probably 2,500 years ago, who laid out uh, a method for that. And I, and I, I think it's valuable to, to know more about the Buddha's principles and teachings. Uh, I'm not sure everybody's interested in that. One, one thing you know about the Buddha? He's fat. He's fat. And you rub his tummy. Okay, where's he from? Um. No. You know that it is a religion based on him? No. <laughs> okay. Don't okay. know anything about that. We'll pick up this one. We can hear you again. The first two elements of the Eightfold Path, the first one, right knowledge or understanding, and right thought. Now, these two elements are in a category of wisdom. Now, the first one, right understanding or right knowledge, is the knowledge and understanding that nothing is, nothing is permanent. Everything is constantly changing. And right thought, not to think negative, basically eliminating negative thoughts Placing them with positive. The next three elements of the Eightfold Path, right speech, right action, and right livelihood, they're more in the realm of ethical conduct. And there are five moral precepts that accompany them. And the five moral precepts are do not kill, do not steal, do not commit violent acts, do not lie, and do not take substances that obscure the mind, such as drugs and alcohol. Now these three elements and these five precepts in themselves won't bring you to Buddhahood, but they're required as part of your journey. Next three elements of the Eightfold Path, right effort. Now right effort is obviously necessary, it's almost implied. If you're on this journey, and you're putting effort into it. And it requires an act of will. And this effort is actually in preparation for the eighth element, which is right concentration, where you become the observer of your own thoughts. the elements in a different fashion here now. Two elements that are involved with gaining control of your mind are right thought and right concentration. The practical objective of the Eightfold Path is the five powers of Buddha. And the five powers of Buddha is what I'm going to spend time on next. Stay tuned. Our next video begins the five-week journey into becoming a Buddha. Anyways, Joe, Anyways, can yeah. you tell us uh, who the Buddha is? Tell us what? Who's the Buddha? Buddha? It's this wax candle I have in my house. See you next time.